it in half. You want to make sure that the lines are really uh, crisp. Then you fold each side into that centre fold. I like hold one bit up like this so you can make sure it's right along the edge. The more precise you get your lines now, your folds now, the better the flower will fold into shape later. Then you want to fold this side to this line. So meet it up to this one and fold it down. and fold this in to meet uh, it. Can you tell I've never done a video before? Why, yes I can. So you're making an eight by eight grid, so do the same with the other side. So this side is coming to meet this side over here. So now you should have eight uh, strips. So turn the paper at 90 degrees and do the exact same, all the same folds that I just did. That is what you have. And um, what you need to do now is turn it over. So it kind of lifts up from the... Um, from the table. Then you take each corner and you're folding each corner in. So you're folding it in so it's two squares by two squares triangle. See if you can see that a bit better. There you go. And you're doing that on each corner. Over again. You want to turn it that way so you've got the flat side towards you and then fold it in half. Okay, open it back out and do the same the other way. So you're making a cross shape. it back over again I like every move turn it over and then you're folding the bottom edge to meet the point of your triangle of your top triangle all the lines should connect the better the more you practice the better and more precise the lines will be and then you'll be able like all the creased lines if you can see ah will connect up so you need to do that on each corner, so rotate it 90 degrees and fold it up. Okay, so now you have this shape. Uh, so the next thing you want to do, guess what, turn it back over again. Okay, so uh, this is where it gets a little bit complicated. Um, you need to turn it again so you have a long flat edge towards you. And then you're folding, you've got one, two, three, four squares. Let me see if I can um, zoom in a little bit. And then, okay. So you've got one, two, three, four. So you're folding it up to the right hand side of this last square. And then you're creasing two squares worth diagonally. Like this. Oh, that's flipped out. So that's the shape that you have. 
So you need to do that um, on each corner. So up to the edge of the last square, crease down two squares diagonally, open it up. Now I've zoomed in, I'm going out of short. And again, like that, and again, like that. Open it out. Okay, let me just. Okay. So now turn it over, and uh, you're going to make a little triangle shape here. Oh, I've just zoomed out and I need to zoom back in. You're going to make a little triangle shape here. So you fold this flat edge up to meet this triangle and crease down one diagonal square and then you need to make the other side of this triangle. So you go like that. So you have this little triangle in the corner. Do that on all four sides. 